What is going on guys? Today we are looking at headliner Sabria 89 rated. So we did get a manage to get an inform 88 rated, his second one of the year. Um, also, he has had obviously a winter upgrade as well, going from an 81 rated right mid to an 83 rated cam. He then has an inform that I believe went up and has gone up to an 86. That is also a centre mid, and then he has got his second inform as an 88 right mid. But he did manage to get a headliner card at 87 or 80 i think it was 87 to begin with and then it was 88 and now it has gone up to 89 rated looking at the price of it at the moment in time it's 94k on the xbox and 99 on the playstation it's kind of been chilling around about the 100k mark but i think it's starting to come down a little bit more now just because obviously this card has been out for a couple of well a day or two um and the price went up, obviously, to start with. I think it was looking at 140, and then now it is starting to drop. So, very, very nice card for an 89, to be honest. A really nice headliner, and I, I, I must admit, I rate the fact that they've done these headliners because they may pick the one to watches that are really decent. Like in general, they're they're a nice card. They have the the summer and the winter, so there's always good cards. But I think picking people who are in form and giving them a live item as such. I really like that idea. It means that there's more chance of them actually going up. The amount of one to watches that literally have not done anything. Verdi was one of them. He was 81 rated since last week and got an 84. Literally done nothing the whole season and then suddenly gets one. Some of them haven't done absolutely anything apart from maybe get a winter upgrade. And that's about it. So I really, really rate these headliners. And I think they're definitely a promo that should stay in the next few FIFAs at the very least. So, if you are new around here, make sure you subscribe for more content. Like this video if you do enjoy it. And also, we're going to go on to the basic information. So, 4 star, 4 star, absolutely fantastic. Left footed, 5 foot 9 with a high attack and work rate and a medium defensive. So, I'm quite happy with all of that to be honest. The 4 star, 4 star is brilliant. Uh, 5 foot 9, not the smallest in the world, not the biggest. I could deal with it. Left footed, sometimes it's nice to have a left footer in there. Um, high attack and work rate, brilliant. Medium defensive, very, very nice. So then we move on to the basic stats. We then look at the chemistry styles and what's good, what's bad about this card. And then we'll go on to the overall review and see if he is worth it. So, 83 pace, 81 acceleration, 84 sprint speed. It's okay for a centre mid. I think it's very, it's about average for me. 85 shooting, which gives you 87 positioning as well as finishing as well as shot power, and then an 85 long shot. Then we go on to the dribbling, which gives you 84 agility, 85 balance, 81 reactions, 86 ball control, 91 dribbling, and only 74 composure. Then we have the best stat on the on his card. It is his 90 passing, which is absolutely phenomenal. 90 vision, 94 crossing, 91 short pass, 87 curve, 83 long pass, and then also a cheeky 83 kick accuracy. A couple of other standout stats and not very good stats are the 83 head and accuracy. It's okay. It gets on the ball sometimes. The 78 stamina can be an issue with him to an extent sometimes it's not it depends on how you're playing him personally i put him as a cam as a thought you know what he's got the stats you whack a good chem style on him and to be honest you're looking at quite a decent cam or you could go all out center mid roll but i think that is where you're going to run into a few issues with him going up up front with the high attacking work rate and then trying to track back i think he will lose a lot of kind of stamina through that um so personally for me Cam is definitely the position to go. And the chemistry style, I would probably choose if I had this card as one of my starting lineup, would have to be probably finisher, to be honest. Uh, or finisher, or I, I was, I'm, see, I'm in the mix between finisher and hawk. Finisher basically gives you two more shooting, but hawk gives you exactly the same, minus two shooting, but then plus, what, plus five pace. For me, in fact, I'm going to make my mind up, I'm going to pick hawk. 88 pace, you'll get 91 shooting, and then 68 physical. He he desperately needs that physical. As obviously he's not a very tall card in general, you're relying on skill moves and kind of the agility of him to get round players rather than possibly being able to go man for man. I'm not saying he's going to absolutely tank out strength now um, against Varane, against Blanc, against all of them, 
but he has that slight advantage now to, to actually do something compared to having no chem style at all or having the basic at the very least. So for me, Hawk would be the best one, especially if you're going cam. If not going cam and you are desperate to get him as um, a centre mid, I'd be looking at probably engine, to be honest. Or probably, to be fair, still around about the Hawk kind of era. Maybe go for something like Sniper, potentially. Um, something to really boost up that. I think Engine definitely would be my favourite there. As, realistically, that is something that you'd need in him. You definitely need the pace a little bit more on the centre mid so he gets back a little bit quicker. But then also, the passing and dribbling is a very nice little advantage to that. So, what is good, what is bad about him, and then we'll go on to the overall. So, the decent parts about him, I thought he was pacey. thought he got on the ball really, really well. He seemed to always be involved, and you'll see in these clips, I've really dug down into some proper clips of him in the sense of I'm just showing you how much he is on the ball as well. He does. He scored a couple for me in cam. To be honest, my cams don't really normally score a hell of a lot as that's normally the striker's job for me. Ronaldo always bags in goals. And to be honest, Ibra, I put him at centre mid to replace Suso um, about 30 minutes in, 20 minutes in. And he absolutely banged it as well. So for me, he got onto the ball very, very nicely, set up a lot of people. His passing was exquisite. It was really, really nice. Through balls, um, long balls, or all of them, basically. He could absolutely pick out a pass. And that's something I really rate with this cam. As, obviously, you do want someone who can spread the ball really well. And I think this card, getting involved how much he did, I'm really happy with that. Some bad points about him. Like I said, the strength isn't incredible. Stamina... Wasn't too much of an issue as a cam, as I think it was relatively okay, as he was mainly staying up front. But as a centre mid, I can't... It's not going to be a major issue, but it's going to be something you need to take into consideration. That obviously he will need subbing out if you want to get the most out of him. You don't want a half-used kind of Sabria when you're in foot champs, really. You want to get a fresh, you want to keep that stamina nice and high. So for me, if he was coming on... I'd probably even put him as a super sub, potentially. Someone with a bit more pace. He does feel very agile, which is really nice. Obviously, he's got the center of gravity with him. Five foot nine, not the tallest, so he can get in and out, weaving. Really, really good on the ball. Composure-wise, I think I, the stat does read right. It, it is a very 7 out of 10 kind of stat for him. He can do wonderful things. Sometimes he messes up. I think that is the point of the card though. 89 rated is not 99. So there is always going to be mistakes for him. But overall, I'm really impressed with him. I thought, he, like I said, he got on the ball well. He he was effective. And that's something that I really rate with this card. Um, consistent as well, to be honest. Some of the other informs that I was using in this team, not consistent enough for me. So to have this card in there and to be really, really nice. And the only reason why I really did this one first was just because I was using his 88 right mid in a draft and he was lightning. So to come on to this card, I'm really, really happy. Um, his 88 actually has better stats all round than this 89, but this 89, I'm trying to think actually, or does he? Yeah, he does. That guy is very, very weird that he does. I've kind of just hovered over it on footbin and he has two more pace, two more shooting, one more passing. One more dribbling, one more defending, two more physical. But he is a right mid. You could obviously change him into the cam. I think he would be wonderful as a right mid, to be honest. His crossing and everything was absolutely fantastic. So actually, maybe looking at his 88 card that's 30k cheaper. If you are looking for a right mid, obviously this is a center mid. That is a potential, to be honest. I think that may actually be worth it. As, like I said, in the draft, he was absolutely phenomenal. And I bought him on just as a sub, just to really put into position. And that is the reason why I really wanted to look at this card. So overall-wise, with this card, I'm looking at around about 8.5 out of 10. Personally, that 1.5 gap is the, the rate and difference compared to him and a team of the year. I thought he was effective enough, consistent enough, and actually provided something to the team which is something i don't say a lot about these new informs but really really happy with him i think he's definitely worth the worth the buy at the very least even if he was to go get his 88 out of right mid it costs you 64k on the xbox compared to the 94k on here for the center mid so let me know what you think down below are you enjoying any headliners have you made any profit out of any headliners did you keep any and and suddenly they've gone up son was obviously a good one as well this week um, I think he went from an 87 to an 88, but he does have a foot birthday 88 as well. So let me know, know all that down below. Make sure you like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.